Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into Sasuke Tamiyano. We're diving into episode 10. We are almost done with this cute little series. Only got a couple episodes left. And yeah, um, things are... I mean, I was going to say things are taking a turn for the positive, but for the most part, the entire series has been relatively light, fluffy, and just a positive feel-good thing. Um, so yeah, we're just going to dive on in and see, see where this episode takes us. Hey, I absolutely love where that episode ended. Um, Oh, there's a lot of great stuff that happened throughout the episode, but the last, like, three, five minutes of it made my heart feel so good. Um, but I did, I am glad that we finally got to see the fireworks scene, because y'all have been watching the reactions, y'all know I've been talking about it for the last, like, four or five episodes. Like, I can't wait till we get there. I can't wait to see what scene leads us up to this, blah, blah, blah. And it wasn't the big romantic... Um, setting or atmosphere that I was expecting it to be but that's okay that's okay I because I was in my head building it up to be this big like just this big romantic scene and this would be when they like finally confessed Miano confesses his feelings or um they've already confessed their feelings and they've had this great date and whatnot and then that's just kind of like the cherry on top of the evening leading into like the first kiss or something like that and it wasn't that and that's fine um it was more it kind of started off that way a little bit um it, they did have a fantastic day together um enjoying the festival this that and the other and enjoying each other's company and they were having conversation and then it just it turned into the fireworks were a beautiful backdrop um, for just this moment that was built, this kind of emotionally heavy moment, because again, Miano is still figuring things out, and that is completely fair. That's completely valid, because I've like I've said, he's not dealt with this kind of stuff before. He's not dealt with these feelings, not regardless of whether or not Sasuke is a guy. Like he's just not dealt with these like love, whatever kind of feelings for someone else. So. He's trying to figure this stuff out, trying to figure himself out, and he doesn't want to hurt anyone. He doesn't want to be the cause of hurting someone's feelings, and I completely get that. I'm, same way, I'm not out here to hurt people's feelings. Um, so he wants to make sure he's absolutely sure before he says anything. So he's like, okay, is it okay if I wait a little bit longer before I give you an answer? Because, you know, I don't, I don't think it's fair to you and I don't want to hurt your feelings. And even though Sasuke is like, yes, I can wait as long as it takes, I will wait for Miyano to the ends of the earth you can see it and even in that moment just kind of weighing on him like like he, he a, Miano said he's being vulnerable with me like he just <sighs> released put his head down he's like he didn't even say it in a happy voice or like a playful voice just like <sighs> I'll wait or I'll be waiting and it's like oh baby I know I know you've been so patient and I know you you've got it bad for this one so I don't know how much longer Sasuke is not rushing him in any way, shape, or form. He's, he's been very good about not rushing and trying not to push boundaries as much as he would like to hold his hand, hug him, kiss him, grab him, all this stuff. He wants to do all this stuff. He knows that he doesn't want to make Miano uncomfortable. So he's done a very good job, for the most part, um, of not pushing too hard and not maybe a little too maybe keep it a little too much distance, but every once in a while he'll go in, you know, for a handhold. Like, they'll, hand, they'll start with a little pinky, and then the hand, and then they held hands throughout the whole rest of the scene. It was super duper sweet. Um, so yeah, so Sasuke's been really good about not pushing Miano to give him an answer, but you can see he's patient, but you can see that, you know, it's, it, it's an exhausting process to like someone and just be in this state of limbo as to whether or not your feelings are going to be returned. Like, I... It's much easier to just like either get rejected right out so you can have your heart broken and move on or just, you know, have it accept, have them accept you, you guys date, whatever, and blah, blah, blah. But that just sitting in limbo, do they like me? Do they not like me? Are we going out? Are we not going out? It is torture. So, oh, I get where Sasaski is coming from in that instance. Um, but yeah, I love the last last little bit there when they went to the movie theater and they saw the movie and you Again, Sasuke so testing those boundaries. He wanted to hold his hand. He wanted to grab his hand. He wanted to, you know, physically interact with him. But he's like, you know, I don't. He he's so into this movie right now. I don't want to 
take him I don't want to take him out of this world I don't want to upset him I don't want to do anything to make him potentially uncomfortable I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy his company and that was nice and then you know as fangirls do in all of these series anytime they see two boys together they automatically start shipping which you know same we're watching the series so we're shipping people together um but you know we overhear their conversation and making the assumptions and you could see Miano starting to feel some, some type of way and I'm not I don't know that it was necessarily an embarrassment that he was feeling. I don't think he was embarrassed, but you could tell he felt uncomfortable. And I don't think it's he's uncomfortable with the idea of dating Sasuke, although he's still figuring things out. It's just, I don't know that, he, even if he was 100% comfortable and he's like, yes, I'm going to date you, Sasuke. I don't, it's one thing to be comfortable in your own skin and to be comfortable with the person you're dating, but it's another thing to like just announce it to the world or live out and proud, blah, 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 blah. He's still a baby. He's still... He's still in high school and he's never dealt with anything like this before. So even if he gets to the point where he's happy and he wants to date to Sasuke, that doesn't necessarily mean he's just going to out out and proud to the whole world. Hey, y'all, I love this man. And I'm like, we'll work up to that. We're not just going to come swinging out the gate like that. So I think that that's kind of what the feeling he was feeling, not necessarily that he was embarrassed or didn't want to be mistaken for that because like he even said they didn't mean any harm by what they were saying because what they're saying is not anything that's bad it's not bad to be dating a guy it's not bad to be in a relationship or anything like that um but i just don't know that he's ready for that level of public displays yet um but then sasasuke kind of just like snapped him back into reality pinched his cheek it's like glad we saw this movie and in that moment the floodgates opened and Miano was just like is this what love is y'all is this what these feelings are because I'm feeling it I've been bitten by something and I am feeling it and I'm here for it and I'm like yes baby come on realize these feelings put a put a name to these feelings put put a face to these yes yes baby yes let's get there because we only got a couple episodes left so let's get there baby um so yeah I'm very happy with how that ended and I thought it all in all it was a great episode um there were some styling changes I would probably make for the cross-dressing competition, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, it was great, and I'm excited to dive into next episode, but I'm going to stop babbling because I have a call that I have to make with our friend Synergic, and I'm already a little bit tardy, so I'm going to peace out. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications, be notified when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah.